I would think, though, that if they value my work, they would have had incentive to give it to Confessions if they want more of my music. Uh, maybe, but there's a lot of producers out there that will send the music with, without consideration fees. So why are they going to give you consideration fees if they can get it from somebody else? So one thing that you can do is, depending on what the library's uh, contract says, if it says that it is a um, you know a three-year reversion clause, you can say, listen, I'll give, your, give you my music in perpetuity, meaning forever in exchange for some consideration fees, right? Are you willing to do that? That could be something you can give up. Um, you know, I don't know. Well, you got to look at what the contract is stating. So basically, you got to think about in terms of what are they offering, what can you give to them, and and sort of um, see if you can give them a little bit more value in exchange for some value because you're you're asking them for cash, right? Um, yeah, they value your music, but they don't think about this though. Do they need your music to stay in business as a library? And I don't mean this to just like you know shoot your shoot you down and make you feel like worthless or something like that. But just be honest with yourself. Do they need your music to stay in business? They don't need my, I'll tell you this for myself. None of my libraries need my music to stay in business. They don't. Sorry, I'm not that important. <laughs> I'm not that irreplaceable. They can find other people that do what I do. They probably couldn't find somebody that stuck with it as long as I did. That's for sure. That's a rare thing to find somebody that's consistently always showing up year after year. But they could find other people with some rock music, with some EDM music, and probably better actually than what I'm doing. In fact, I know they can find something better. So I have to know where I am here and I'm not up here that's irreplaceable and you better pay me my premium fee. I'm a little more down here because I want to work hard. I, this is an opportunity for me. I'm excited. I want to be paid fairly, but I know that I'm not, you know, your business doesn't depend on signing me as a producer. So, you know, just showing up and saying, I want something great. You want something, but like try to step outside of yourself for a second. Again, this is that service mindset. Step outside of yourself for a second. Do I have the power in the cloud to even demand for this kind of stuff? Like, why would they pay me money when they're not paying maybe the next guy? Maybe none of the other producers get consideration fees. Answer If you can answer this for yourself, why would they give you consideration fees and not everybody else? Then you can maybe negotiate. So you got to get to that answer. And I can't tell you what that answer is. If you can get it, then you can do some great stuff. So, all right. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to punch out here. I appreciate all you guys being here. And uh, this replay will be available in the Sync Edge live Q&A all right, the membership section, it'll be a live Q&A replay. You can watch that if you missed out the beginning or anything like that. So appreciate all you guys' time and attention. And we'll have two new libraries for you September 1st. So hang tight. Going to be some great stuff coming your way very soon. Have a great weekend.